So you must have found the story interesting. And I'm sure you have felt the sudden and abrupt end in the story. आपको लगा होगा कि ये जो कहानी है जिसमें इतना रोमांच है जिसमें इतना दुस्साहस है अचानक खत्म होती है कहानी टू बी वेरी ट्रू टू यू यू नो दिस इज एन एक्सट्रैक्ट एन एक्सर फ्रॉम ए वेरी लॉन्ग एडवेंचर टेल ए टेल ऑन एडवेंचर बाय द ऑथर हिमसेल्फ उसमें से एक हिस्सा लिया गया है और उस हिस्से को आपके लिए चुना गया जिसमें एडवेंचर हो साथ ही सिल्क रूट से उसका संबंध जोड़ा गया इसलिए आपको ये कहानी अचानक समाप्त होती हुई लगती है बट इट सर्व द पर्पज इन दिस स्टोरी वी गॉट फ्यू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट messages and points for you firstly one should be adventurous in life hum har ek mein sahas hona chahiye khatra aur jokhim lene ka sahas hona chahiye that's one secondly one must explore the new places nayi nayi jaghon ki khoj karna chahiye exploration is the best way of learning physical exploration is the best way of learning thirdly in the process of exploration you come across lot of new people new culture new social ways new norms new values और जब ये नए लोगों से आप मिलते हैं और उनके साथ कुछ दिन गुजारते हैं तो कई बड़ी अजीबो गरीब चीजें सामने आती हैं बड़ी रुचिकर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वॉन्स एंड ऑफकोर्स दीज इंटरेस्टिंग एंड न्यू थिंग दैट यू कम अक्रॉस ऑन योर वे ऑफ एक्सप्लोरेशन दे एनरिच यू एंड योर पर्सनैलिटी आपके व्यक्तित्व को निखार देती हैं उसमें निखार लाने में मदद करती नेक्स्ट वेन यू एक्सप्लोर दिस वे यू कम क्लोज टू द नेचर आप प्रकृति के निकट आते हैं एंड वेन यू कम क्लोज टू द नेचर यू हियर इट्स साउंड you hear its feelings you feel the nature you yourself feel the nature and that is something very very important at least in modern era that we the human being must have soft corner for the nature otherwise nature will destroy us prakriti ke sath jeena prakriti ke प्राकृतिकता को देखना और प्रकृति के खेल का आनंद लेना दिस इज वॉट इज देयर इन दिस स्टोरी अबाउट लास्ट पॉइंट फॉर यू टू नो इन दिस कि कैसे एक यात्री एक लक्ष्य लेके निकलता है और रास्ते में आने वाली कठिनाइयों का कितना बखूबी विवरण देता है दैट इज समथिंग रिमार्केबल हाउ ए पर्सन स्टार्ट इज जर्नी अंडरटेक्स इज जर्नी एन एडवेंचरस जर्नी एंड डिस्क्राइब द जर्नी सो ब्यूटिफुली एज टू मेक इट लाइफ एज इफ यू आर वॉचिंग द विजुअल दैट आर्ट ऑफ राइटिंग दैट आर्ट ऑफ ऑब्जर्विंग that art of uh, uh, you know taking things from different sources is something that many of us miss out you must find time to get close to the nature to go to the nature you must find time for yourself and undertake a journey 
into the jungles, into the mountains, into the river sides, and feel the bond between nature and human being. This is in brief is a kind of uh, message that this story uh, gives you. The title is Silk Root or Silk Road. Now with this title let us start understanding the text through questions. So we will go ahead with some questions for you to answer and of course I will be giving you a brief guideline for this answer. But you will get the answer in this video and in this video. So the first of the question as per your book is give reasons for the statement the article has been titled the silk road. इस लेख का शीर्षक सिल्क रोड क्यों रखा गया? उसके कारण दे। The answer is very simple. Two fold reasons. One is the journey that they undertake. At one point they touch the silk road. When the shortcut they take. If you remember, the driver with the author, they go to the shortcut that touches the silk road. The famous ancient silk route which connected Asia with Europe. And they felt that through that route they can be, they can find it much better to reach somewhere down the Kailash mountain. The second reason is, at the end again the mention of Silk Road comes when the author mentions that in that tea stall at Darchen, they found a lot of bags, plastic bags. Those bags brightly colored, striped ones. Those bags were actually product of China. And those bags were found all over China and also in Asia and Europe. These bags were exported through the use of Silk Road. And so in this context also, the mention of Silk Root or Silk Road comes. So the title is absolutely correct. And that is the precise reason why it's titled Silk Road. The second question that we have. Again a statement. Tibetan Mastiffs were popular in China's imperial courts. You have to explain the statement, reasons. Why were they popular? Mastiffs, dogs. As the name suggests, they were massive dogs. Black, tall, hefty dogs. That's one. Secondly, not were they, not only were they hefty dogs, but they were also excellent for the purpose of security and safety. As these travelers themselves noted how dangerous the mastiffs could be that they would chase them for almost a distance of 100 meters to ensure that no foreign person is there in their territory. This is one reason. The second is why they were kept in imperial. It was a sign of grandeur. This number of mastiff dogs, mastiffs, were kept in imperial court to build a kind of aura also around the darbar, the kingship. And so Tibetan mastiffs became popular in China's imperial courts. The third statement, the author's experience at Hor was in stark contrast to earlier accounts of the place earlier accounts of the place. Contrast means I have told you, absolutely virodha bhas. The author has seen, the experience has seen, the experience he had read, it was completely different. What did he read? About the beauty of whore. And what did he see? All together different, a dull place. And this contrast is beautifully narrated in that paragraph where author describes his own experience of horror. 
And he also mentioned that he had read a lot about her and being good places and all that. So, reason for the following, why this statement was made is because what he had seen earlier, what he had read earlier, before he undertook the journey, and what he had physically seen, there was a difference. So that is why it was in stark contrast. Fourth statement. The author was disappointed with Darchan. Why was the author disappointed with Darchan? Number one. He expected Darchan to be a beautiful place. Beautiful because it was in the cradle of nature. Beautiful because he thought it to be beautiful, expected it to be beautiful because it was on way to the Kalas mountain, a religious a pilgrimage, place of pilgrimage. Number three, he thought it to be beautiful or good, thinking that population will be mobile, lively. Fourth, he felt that under this nature, the Darchan must be a beautiful, clean town. Unfortunately, the author found none of them. Hardly any good shops worth the name. Number two, dusty. Number three, waste is strewn all over the rubbles that were found all over. Number four, the population was very sleepy. There were very small number of people. Number five, he didn't find anyone speaking English or any pilgrim also at the time when he had gone. That was also a reason for his disappointment. He felt when I land up there, when I read Darchan, I'll have plenty of people and I'll join them to Mount Kalas. I'll be having a group of people or I'll be with a group of people. But unfortunately, nothing of this kind happened. He could not find any pilgrim except Narbu at the end. And so, for a pretty long time, he felt disappointed. At the same time, there were no proper medical facilities also. Though of course he was given treatment with those 15 yellow packet powders. But then, being a western person, he expected something more modern, something more scientific treatment will be available there. But unfortunately that was not. And he was disappointed to see the hospital with doctors not being in their proper dresses as he was used to watching with overcoat, with a stethoscope and all that. He, he didn't find them and so he was disappointed. Next, the last statement. The author thought that his positive thinking strategy works well after all. This after all is important. What is the meaning of the word after all? Antata. Antata author ko laga, author ne mehsus kiya ki uska jo sakaratmak soch ka jo prayas hai, wo safal hota usko najar aya. Iska matlab kisi ek point pe wo niraj bhi ho gaya tha. So you remember what was the point when he had become disappointed and felt that uh, to be positive uh, probably doesn't mean much. And he felt that uh, my whole attempt at thinking positive comes to an end at this incident. You have to think of it. And then when did he start feeling again, Kyare nahi, positive thinking, sakarat baksoch, hona chahiye, uske fayde. At what point did he start again believing in positivity? Do you remember? I give you a hint. When he met Norbu, when he met Norbu, he came back to the belief that, well, his positive thinking strategy is working well. But when was he disappointed? 
when was he disappointed and believed that his his own program of thinking positively is not working well think about it search for it and answer now the next question briefly comment on the purpose of author journey to mount kailash what was the purpose of his journey to mount kailash was it official purpose no it was simply a kind of exploration since he had read quite a lot that buddhist perform kora around mount kailash he to decided to undergo that parikrama to do that parikrama so it was for kora that he had decided to go to mount kailash it was a buddhist place of worship the next the author's physical condition in darchan comment on the author's physical condition in darchan in darchan if you remember he was feeling uneasy lying on the floor finding it difficult to breathe difficulty in breathing the nostrils troubled him he sits down along the wall props himself up against the wall and feels better decide to lie down again but this time feels again uncomfortable and feel something is wrong with his chest of breathing difficulty he feels running nose cold and all along that feeling that something is going wrong with me and finally he had a sleepless night out of sheer anxiety out of sheer um, worry ke mujhe kuch ho na jaye ye jo chinta thi usne uske raat bhar usko jagna pada and so his physical condition wasn't as good it was only next morning when he was taken to the doctor and when he had three doses of it that he started feeling better and normal and when doctor told him this is nothing only cold and lack of oxygen due to altitude that the author felt relieved the third question the authors meeting with narbu briefly comment on the author meeting with narbu at what point of time did he meet narbu when if when when the author was feeling dejected lost not knowing what to do thinking that he had no choice except to face all these problems was uh, sort of having a negative thought whether i'll be able to reach whether i'll be able to remain alive and what not at that point of time he meets narbu that's one what happens when he meets narbu he realizes that narbu knows english becomes very happy he also comes to know that narbu is also on way to same place where he has been heading for that is mount kalas that makes him all the more happy and they decide to go in group two of them together but so with the meeting of nabu the author becomes extremely happy he felt there are people around now there is somebody with him now with whom he can communicate with whom he can talk shares his feelings and this long arduous journey difficult journey ahead will be made easy with the in the company of norbu so he was very elated happy to have norbu around next satan support to the author during the journey comment on satan support to the author during the journey what kind of support he gave to the author yes satan so was very supportive showed in the shortcut 
to Mount Kailas. Though, of course, he was very clear that shortcut may be risky also at times if there is no fall. But then he went about the shortcut. So, difficulties on way, he handled them very well. Handling mastiff dogs, handling those um, know, rocky pathways, the snowy road. And so all along he was enthusiastic, he was encouraging, motivating the author. At the same time, at Hoare and Darchan, he took due care of the writer, of the narrator, of the traveler himself. Made sure that he is shown to the doctor. And only when he was sure that this man is going to remain alive that Satan left for Lhasa again. You remember? He said, the author says that it looked, Satan left only when he, he was sure that I am alive. And so Satan was an excellent guide, cooperated with him all along, led him all along, supported the author, and in fact encouraged the author. So this is all about Satan's support. The last one, as a Buddhist, he told me, he knew that it didn't really matter whether you die. But he thought it would be bad for business. Kya matlab hai iska? I explained that while talking about the story. Author feels that though he was a Buddhist, Satan was a Buddhist, he wasn't bothered about whether the traveler remains alive or dead. That didn't matter to him much. But what mattered to him was the impact of somebody's demise. Satan was guide to this man. If something happens to this man, the business of tourism will be affected to some extent. And since this man was Satan was a guide, his own business will be affected. So he was a Buddhist, but that did not made him much, uh, did not make him much worried. What made him much worried was probably adverse impact that his death might have on the business of Satan. So these are the uh, five sentences on which we had to comment. Now there is another paragraph given at the end of your chapter. That paragraph deals with the breaking up of the mainland. Historically, during ancient times, due to various geographical factors and changes, the, there is a split that takes place, leading to the disappearance of the ocean leading to the disappearance of the ocean from that area which uh, Satan and Nichols pointed out. You read this paragraph carefully yourself and try to understand how geography over the years ha has been changing. Nothing is constant. What you see today, India, as a land, as you see in the map, is a phenomenon that must have happened from lakhs of years ago when the earth split into fragments because of many, many, many factors, whether weather conditions due to pressure, due to changes in climate, due to shifting of rocks, and so on and so forth. Formation of India as a land, land formation of India itself is very interesting. So, you read this paragraph yourself, and from this try to understand how earth evolved over the years. 
they were all connected together at one point of time. And slowly, slowly, in the lakhs and crores of years, they got separated. They, they, um, and as a result, some places, oceans were built, made, at some places, oceans dried up, like the case here, where oceans dried up. 